<clears throat> oh, hey. I'm, in, I'm all onto essential oils right now um, because my kids were sick and I was trying to have a, a natural remedy for maybe nausea or um, breathing issues until I could see the doctor. And so here I am smelling all these smells and it got me thinking, you know, I like to do. Um, an interesting point though on thieves, have you heard of thieves? Um, thieves is actually going back to the bubonic plague when there were robbers taking things from dead people's body because, you know, when it, at that time it was like, if you even came near one of these bodies, you would get the disease and then you would die. And how would these people go get all their, like, um, be, be savages really and go get all their stuff and not get sick. And it was because they would use the scents that are in thieves, the different um, oils they put on their body and it rejected the um, the bubonic plague. And so then they made it thieves. Interesting, right? Okay, that's actually not what I was gonna talk about, but I thought it was a great story. So, you know, I actually have a scent that I love. I picked it up from a friend a long time ago and, um, I said, what are you wearing? And I love it. It smells so good. And she said, it's amber oil. Well, I went to Whole Foods that day. This is probably, it's like 2008, I think. And I picked up some amber oil. And since then, I've always wore amber. And I have people always say, Kristen, what are you wearing? And I'm like, amber oil. And then all of a sudden, they're wearing amber oil. And I'm like, awesome. We're going to be a whole bunch of people with amber. Love it. But, but you're recognized by it. And people say, oh, you smell like Kristen. I've had that happen and I'm like, oh, funny, amber oil. And they're like, yeah, actually. I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, it's not like it's mine. There's so many people that use it, but they're, you know, in my little circle, I started a nice trend of amber wearers. And it made me think about the oils and then my amber story and what people, you know, remember me by. Um, my scent, right? So we are like, if I mean, even memories old boyfriends, um, what your mom wore, what your grandma wore. I mean, my grandma wore um, uh, Jeweled by uh, Elizabeth Taylor. No, it wasn't Jeweled, Diamonds. It was very potent. And half the time I was like, can we spray it down like one less than what you did? But um, but even still, I, to this day, if I, I smelled it, I would be like, that's my grandma. Or some offered some, I mean, these are just some that my aunt used to wear. And then I started wearing when I was a teenager and my best friend, Kathy Kelly, started wearing it. And I was like, oh my gosh, we wear the same scent. Back in the day. Anyway, um, and we all have these scents that we have memories towards. Some of them are great. Some of them are not so great. But you are, you do remember it. And I came across a scripture that was so perfect for that. Because that's how we are to be in Christ. An aroma, a fragrance that represents Jesus. And I'm going to read it to you. It's in 2 Corinthians 2.14. And this is out of the Amplified. It says, But thanks be to God who is who in Christ always leads us in triumph. And through us spreads and makes evidence the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere. For we are the sweet fragrance of Christ which exhales unto God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. To the latter, it's an aroma wafted from death to death, a fatal odor, the smell of doom. To the former, it's an aroma life to life, a fatal fragrance, living and fresh. And who is qualified, fit and sufficient for these things? Who is able for such a ministry? We? For we are not like so many, like huskers making a trade of peddling God's word shortchanging and adulterating the divine message. But like men of sincerity and of the purest motives of commission and sent by God, we speak his message in Christ, the Messiah, in the very sight and presence of God. And when we live our lives as believers, and we really have sold out, it says with, um, in verse, do, 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 do. the 16, that we are living fresh and it says that we are pure, that when we live a pure life and we have a heart pleasing to God, that 
we are putting off a fragrance of God, of the gospel, of the message of Jesus. And not only does it go up to God and God's like, hey, that's my girl, that's my, my boy. But he's also going, it's also being known among people. And the thing about aroma, so right before that, it talked about um, how, be thanks be to God who always leads us to triumph. Well, in the Roman time, they would, to say that they have triumphed over an enemy, they would have the captives and the victors go parade through the um, the town. And there would be scents that they would put out there to say that we won. Well, to some of that, to people, it would be a, a horrible stench of, like, destruction, you know, that they lost. But to some, it would be like, woo, we won. Yeah, we're to your mother. And as believers, that's what we should be living. We should live out the gospel so that we are showing that there's victory in Jesus and that there's a sweetness unto God and for others. And some people, here's the truth of walking out your life. Though you're giving sweet aromas back up to God as he deserves, some people will just be taken back by that scent. You know, it's like my sister and, and it stuck with me and it's true. If I smell, I mean, you might get hit it with something else and I'll like it-ish, but if I smell patchouli, like just straight up, I literally will be nauseated. It does not bring comfort. And I think somebody said it, it's supposed to, but no, for me, I'm like, I can't do it. Obviously, some people really enjoy that scent. I'm just not that person. I don't understand why they would, but whatever. That's for between them and God and whoever. But to me, it's, it's off-putting. I'm like, Ugh. But to somebody that likes it, they're like, give it to me. Or they're ready for it. Like, yeah, that's new and fresh. I like it. Well, that's the same with the gospel. There are going to be people that are going to be so in love with that aroma that you're projecting. They're going to be like, because they're, they're wanting it. They're wanting that life that you're, you're putting off. When it's pure, when it's a pure form and you're, you're doing it unto the Lord, it's sweet to them. It's a sweet aroma. And they're going to be attracted to it. And there will be some that will be off put by you. Well, guess what? That's just what how life is. And you hope that they would have this miraculous enjoyment of your smell. But the truth is, they're not. And and that's why, in a way, <clears throat> as I believe we pray for peace in the world, but we're never going to get peace. I mean, that is a really great idea. I would love for there never to be war. And like, speaking of which, I would, but you have a, just on faith alone, on Jesus alone, you're going to have opposing views to that for the rest of time. Because there's always going to be somebody against Christians and what they believe. And so we'll never be at peace. But we can have inner peace because of Jesus. We can live in peace because of him. And, and that ultimately, whether you're a believer or not, you want peace. Because you're going to go through junk right? And so my encouragement to you in saying all this and what I gained for myself is walk in purity in your faith. Walk in sincerity in your faith. And what you are putting out when it's pure is this beautiful scent to those that are wanting to see. And just know that it's not you, it's them. <laughs> If they aren't enjoying your scent of Jesus, then that's on them, not you. But there will be some that are needing a new scent. They're tired of Alfred Sung, and they're ready for an amber oil. And they're like, I need a new thing. I want this. And they're going to be attracted to that scent. And as you walk it out, you're going to see that. And so be who God's called you to be. Love God with all your might, soul, and strength. And there will be those that are going to be saying, hey, I want that scent that you have. And be prepared to give it to them. Because we're in a time right now that God is calling us to speak the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for a manifestation of miracles to happen. Because we need it. We need to see the mighty outstretched power of God to swoop up and rescue his people. And that's people that are plugged into his, his word, that are calling on his name, that are making radical declarations of faith, saying, God, I can't, but you can. 
and um, and people are watching and they're wanting that smell of victory, of triumph that we have in Christ. So have a great day. Put out your scent. Know that you're going to be loved and hate. It's how the life is going to be. Just is, period. And, um, and I'd love to hear back if you do have some kind of insight into that as well or added insight. Be great. Anyways, have a great day. Bless you.